Hey guys, so I'm back and sorry that I haven't been posting a lot. I am finally done with finals and I'm officially done my first semester of college. So I'm very excited. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the new Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. It looks something like this and I bought the foundation and also the powders. So I'm going to give you guys, you know, a demo review of this and just kind of my thoughts on it because I've been hearing a lot of good reviews on it lately. and. The old Maybelline Fit Me foundation didn't work for me, so I kind of want to try this to see if it actually works. Just to let you guys know a little, you know, information about my skin. I have dry, you know, dry normal skin. It really depends. I get really dry on my forehead and then around my nose area. So if you are, if you are a dry person, you might want to know if this foundation works for you because this is basically for normal to oily skin. And sometimes matte looks can make us dry skin people really flaky and stuff so I'm just gonna share you guys my thoughts let's just get started so we're going to start off by priming my face and I am actually going to prime my face with the Maybelline baby skin Poi race you guys know I like this stuff and I usually like to do foundation review without primer but I really recommend you to use a primer anyways because for me I don't like the feeling of you know just the foundation on top of my skin I like something else under it so yep I'm just going to prime my face Let's see how long this foundation will last. So now I'm going to use my Sigma Round Kabuki F82 to blend out my foundation. And then for the review of this packaging, I think it's the same thing as the other one. It's a little hard to kind of get the stuff out because it doesn't have a pump and you can't really control, you know, your um, foundation. But the good thing is that it's open so you can put your foundation basically, you know, back in. It can be a little bit messy as you guys can see, but I'm just going to dab this all over my face and hopefully this is like the right color. I'm hoping at least. So this is the first layer and as you guys can see it did cover up some of my blemishes right here. I have some right here and then also some of it right here. And it does cover up pretty well. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage and it might be buildable. So I'm just going to do one more layer. So this is the second layer and I did cover up some more blemishes. I covered up this red part right here that you guys can't see. I have like a blemish right there and then I also covered up some of the redness spots over here that I have. And I'm pretty surprised that, you know, the coverage is really good actually. Actually, this foundation actually matched my neck, which I'm kind of surprised. And now since I'm done, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me, the Matte and Pearless Powder, and this is the shade 130. I think this might be a little bit darker for me because my foundation is 125, but I think it shouldn't make that big of a difference. So let's just see how good this powder is. Okay, so this is the final look after the powder and I'm not sure about my feelings yet so I'm just gonna go conceal my face and my under eye circles and hopefully I can give you guys some reviews or my you know actual impression of this foundation so are you guys ready for my final thought about this foundation this is actually my full face makeup with this foundation and what i would say is that this foundation is really good if you have normal to oily skin i think it works well with dry skin also but as i was putting it on i noticed that i started flaking right here and on my t-zone so 
that kind of sucks for me. I might have to moisturize before putting this foundation on. But another thing is that if you have dry skin, you don't need to purchase the powder because the powder actually made me drier and I don't like that. So if you guys are oily skin, I would recommend buying the powder. But if you guys have normal skin, I think you guys should be fine because it is a matte finish. Overall, I like the coverage. It gives me a really nice glow. I will insert a picture like right here or right here to show you guys how it looks like when I took a picture of it. And it is also very nice. It's very easy to work with and to blend with. It dries up pretty fast, so you might have to kind of work it a little bit, but it's good for everyday foundation. It has good coverage. It's only $7.99, depending on where you are. I got mine at CVS, so it really depends. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully check this foundation out. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. And since I didn't test how long this foundation lasts, I'm going to list that down in the description box below. Make sure to check that out. And other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.